Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in today. Today I'm going to show you how to link Kong's Drum Designer to Trigger Redrum's Sequencer uh, while gaining full access to the SSL mixer over each individual channel. Let's get started. First thing we will do is create a Kong Drum Designer. And then while holding Shift, we will create a Redrum Sequencer. This will prevent the pre-wired what we want to do then is connect the gate in and output on both of the drum machines here. Um, just for time, I'm only going to do four connections there. We will then create four corresponding mix channels here. While holding Option, we can quickly copy the Let's load samples into the um, Kong drum machine now. We'll start with a kick. We'll go to a snare next. Do an open hi hat. and a shaker. Okay. This is where it gets kind of important here that we wire and pad things correctly. Because as you can see in the Kong drum designer, everything um, as far as output goes is in stereo pairs here. Um, that only gives us access to basically is that one, to eight outputs, and we can have up to ten with a redrum sequencer. So I like to do kind of mono sends or mono outputs from these guys, so we can get uh, you know, more options here. Um, the way to do that is we're going to disconnect this. This will basically be main output one and two, and then you can see we have three through sixteen here. By holding shift, we can send just from the left output into the first, first mix channel here. Again, holding shift to the right output strictly to the second mix channel. We'll go back here, we'll build a basic beat here. This will be the kick on the down beats. Snare. Hats, and we'll do one shaker here. Now what we want to do next is change the output source for each of these drum pads. As you can see by default, master effects, we will change that to main output left and right. And because the snare is coming out the right side of the main output left and right, we're going to use the same output source. For the symbols, we will use Output three and four, and same with the shaker. Now, if I was just to start playing this beat, okay, I forgot to wire those two. Let's do that quickly. Because we're sharing stereo outputs, the problem here is if we switch to the mixer view and if I was say, for example, solo just the kick, you still hear the snare in there. It's blending the two. Same thing if I solo just the snare, because they're used to, they're sharing the same stereo output. Now the way to get around this is we'll go back to the rack view and we are going to take, let's stop the beat for a second, take this and pan it hard left because we use the left output source and this hard right because we used the right output source. And the same for these two. 
Now, if we, everything's still playing completely at the center, and when we get to our SSL mixer view, you hear only kick now. Just there. And then we can do our panning from this view. You probably won't hear the panning since I'm using my matches. Now we have full control uh, with um, you know mono output for this here. What I would do next is name kick. basically how you do it. Um, now we have kind of uh, the full flexibility of drums, uh, or I'm sorry, of Kong's drum designer and all its, you know, effects and sends and uh, kind of hit types here and patterns we can build. Um, but we also, you know, I've always liked Redrum. We get the, you know, the step sequencer here, which makes it really easy to make beats. And, um, you know, with that basic loop right there, if I was to use this pattern, A1, first we want to disconnect the enable pattern section. I hit control and click on the pattern. This is on a Mac, but right click. I can then copy pattern to track. We'll go to the play view here. And you can see it has copied that drum loop to the track here. If I hold option, I can just continuously loop it. That is my alarm to wake up. Cool. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions uh, about this video, feel free to ask. But, you know, I've seen a few other people do this, and they always were just taking a, you know, all they were able to do was the, uh, the stereo outputs from the Kong, um, rather, you know, than kind of breaking these up and getting, you know, the 16 different uh, output choices. Um, I showed you a way how to do that. Uh, just make sure you, you know, get that panning so you can kind of uh, have full control over each hit um, uh, cleanly. Cool, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask.